All right, now I'd like to call up, please, Shazad Deredia from <coughs> recently renamed True Access, formerly Bill Shrink. Hello everyone, my name is Shazad Deradia. I'm the head of product at True Access, uh, recently renamed from Bill Shrink. Uh, and we are the leading provider of loyalty rewards and data-driven personalized services for FIs. So the problem we're solving is a pretty large one. O over the past year and a half, there have been three different pieces of legislation that have collectively drained $25 billion in revenue annually from the industry, uh, most recently culminating the Durbin Amendment. Uh, in reaction, banks have been dropping debit rewards programs as well as free checking programs for consumers. And as a result, consumers have been losing. So we think there's a better solution. We provide the statement rewards platform as a win-win-win scenario for FIs, their cardholders, and the merchants that they shop at. Uh, in particular, we think that it'll drive higher relationship value out of the cardholders for the FIs, as well as increased loyalty, um, higher online usage, as well as the ability to participate, participate in a revenue share with True Access. So how do we do this? Well, banks today currently sit on an entirely underutilized asset, which is their transaction data stream. What we do is we apply predictive analytics to extract intelligence from this data stream and build a unique set of services on top of it that drives value to consumers. Services like merchant-funded rewards, where users get discounts at their favorite merchants. And note that's merchant-funded, not bank-funded rewards. Uh, bill analysis, where users can see how they save money on their monthly recurring bills. We turn the bank ex existing bank card into a master loyalty card where they can uh, track status and as a result they don't have to hold a separate card for every single merchant. And we provide users with insights into their purchase behavior and Netflix-like recommendations on places they should visit based on their purchase behavior. And all these things can be pushed out across all the traditional bank channels including web and mobile. And to get started all it takes is in, uh, embedding a single line of HTML on the statement page. So what does this look like? This is a statement before statement rewards. Pretty drab and boring. What we do is we transform it into an interactive tool by putting annotations against relevant transactions. Annotations such as a bill analysis, where if we recognize a user is paying their cell phone bill with that card, we give them opportunity to analyze that bill and see if they save money on that, uh, on that bill. So once they've analyzed the bill, we provide them with a summary of their call history and other usage criteria, and then rec personalized recommendations to see if they can save money by moving to a cheaper plan. We do this for TV and gas bills as well. Another annotation is a uh, merchant-funded reward. This is an example of a prepaid reward where the user has the ability to get a $50 gift card at the Gap and only pay $40 for it. So when they click on Get This Reward, they get an ability to single-click to purchase to bill their existing bank card only $40 and immediately receive redemption instructions for online or in-store, or they could even pull it up on their mobile app, which I'll show you later. Uh, we also turn the existing bank card into their single unified loyalty card where they can track their status across all their favorite merchants and get rewards from them uh, without having to hold a separate card, punch card for all their different merchants. Finally, we also enable reward discovery where merchants can see, uh, consumers can see which rewards are around the corner for them so they can make a better choice as to where to spend their next grocery dollar or their next pharmacy dollar, for example. And all these services can be embedded inside the existing bank's mobile application as well. So a user can see the nearby and purchase and available rewards, uh, retrieve a purchased reward for a redemption in store, uh, as well as um, see the rewards available for them to purchase right now and actually make a purchase straight from their phone. So this provides a lot of benefits to FIs, chief among them being spend shift to promote your car to top of wallet. In fact, bill analysis services alone provide $5,000 of incremental annual spend shift. Uh, it also helps a new customer acquisition. Uh, users have said, 76% 76 of users have said that they would uh, consider applying for a new card that provided these services over an existing card that did not. FIs can also benefit from revenue share, as well as higher customer satisfaction and higher online usage. So how big is this market today? Well, independent research group AITE projects that in 2015, there'll be $115 billion of gross transaction value arising from the incentive transactions. And that's just merchant funded rewards alone, which is only one component of our platform. As far as our current traction, we um, launched the platform in October, and within six months, we're able to sign, launch, and integrate and launch uh, 2,500 banks, which representing 8 million users using our platform right now by virtue of our partnership with Jack Henry's NetTeller and iPay platforms. This is automatically available to all of the banks, and um, we've seen very low single-digit opt-out percentages so far. So how are we able to accomplish this traction? Well, we've spent the past, our core team has spent the past 13 years building products and selling them into the bank channel. Our CEO was the founder of Yodli, and our core engineering team also comes from Yodli. So a lot of experience with processing very large transaction sets of the trillions. Um, we also have a very unique consumer internet DNA, being the ones that brought you BillShrink.com, which is the one um, 
gotten two different uh, Webby Award nominations and won best, uh, Finnovate Best of Show twice. Uh, our investors are Bessemer and Trinity, and we've raised $9 million to date. So if you're a bank looking to integrate statement rewards into your platform, please give me a shout after the presentation. Thank you. Well done. Thank you. Questions? I guess you wowed them. Nope. Okay, there is one question in the back. So uh, Cardalytics has been out there as well as some others. I mean, how do you see uh, differentiating from them? Yeah, sure. So there are about maybe a dozen players, broadly speaking, in this space in general. Um, the way that we find ourselves is differentiating. So we've been able to get the most traction in the space. And the way we've been able to do so is uh, three different ways. The breadth of the platform, the ease of integration, and the, uh, the user experience. So all the other competitors in the space usually only focus on very one very narrowly focused uh, element, which is the merchant funded rewards piece. And even within that, they only focus on one format, which is the statement credit. So we, in addition to merchant funded rewards, also provide bill analysis, purchase insights, mobile integration, social integrations I didn't even mention, um, you know, master loyalty. We provide an entire platform with a breadth of services that uh, leverage uh, the transaction data stream. And then within merchant rewards as well, we also um, support multiple formats. So prepaid uh, gift cards versus statement credits. We have both national and local merchants. Um, so that's the breadth of the platform. The ease of integration, it actually took Jack Henry one day to actually integrate with us and see offers, uh, whereas some of our competitors have literally been trying to launch a bank for the past 18 months. Uh, and then finally, the... Oh? That's okay, Chris, go ahead. You may have said it uh, at the start, but I was just trying to work out why you've rebranded and renamed. <laughs> sure. So um, we essentially, short answer is we outgrew our name. Um, you know, we started as billstream.com as a core de uh, destination for consumers uh, a few years ago. And since then, we've uh, broadened our platform and wanted a name that reflected our true ambition. Yobi. Yeah, I have one question. How, first of all, how many of those 2,500 banks have actually fully integrated it? Second, which large bank have you worked with? And I mean large bank as in the size of city or a chase or something of sure. that size. Sure, so our integration with Jack Henry was actually rolled out across all of the banks on their NetTeller and iPay platforms. They did not have to do anything else in order to actually get that pla the, our platform launched or deployed on their banks. So it was an opt-out rollout, which means it's completely available to everyone, and if they wanted to, they could opt-out. Our opt-out rates have been very low single digits. As far as uh, direct bank partnerships are concerned, uh, we will be launching one early next year and probably another one uh, middle of next year, both top five banks, but we have yet to announce them. Thank okay. you very much. Thank you. Well done.